and pressure and agitation jesus came to give us rest he says in john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal kill and destroy but i am come that you might have life and have life overflow more abundantly more abundantly more abundantly more abundant overflow life not shortage shortage mentality is a curse mentality shortage mentality is a curse it's as a result of a fall cause no shortage in heaven jesus said come unto me ye that labor and heavy laden, i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i'm meek and lowly in heart for your my yoke is easy my yoke is easy my yoke is easy and my burden is light once it is not light you are not resting you are not resting you are not resting you are agitating once it is not light you are agitating so you see what am i saying you believe then you will become when you believe it you will see what god has done manifest in your life when you take time to carefully examine the ministry of jesus christ you will notice that he operated under rest why do you think the father said to him you are my beloved son in whom i am well pleased before he started ministry the father was showing him son before you step out you have arrived and the resources of heaven are deployed in your direction that's why he could sleep when there was storm he knew that he was the beloved of heaven he could sleep that's why he could come to the tomb of Lazarus. And they said that it smelly. He said, I, like, I love it when it smells. I love it when it is smelling, when it has become no hope, when it's hopeless. I love it because I can take care of it. When they told him that the, 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 there was only five loaves and two fishes, he said, I, I, I said, I love it. Give, bring, give it. give it to me. What did he do? He gave thanks. But in our own case, we start to tremble and cry. In the storm he was sleeping they gave him five loaves and two fishes the disciples were agitated anxious saying there is no food here this is desert and the man was he said tell them to sit down and he took the bread and gave thanks what am i supposed to see and he gave to them said go and distribute share it he was not expecting it to, not to work it has to work why i am the beloved son of god it has to work for me <laughs> mary and martha said look it's too late you've come very late and you can't walk again he said where did you lay him? take away the stone you know he's smelling by now take you i love it when it smells take away the stone. lazarus is coming out he knew who he was his identity was not in question it was not in question it's not in doing his identity was not predicated on his doing it was predicated on what he had the father say it was not in doing some of you want to do to prove your identity no your identity is based on what the father called you he said you are a saint. He said you are holy. He said you are righteous. He said you are sanctified. He said you have power. He said you have authority. He said you can tread upon serpent and scorpion and all the ability of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. He said your needs are met. He said you are not barren. It's, it's, that's, that's who you are. Your experience does not define you. That's why I say it is what God said that defines you. And that is your arrival. Glory to God. Ephesians 5.1 in message translation. I love that. Just spend time to find out how Jesus lived. 
Watch what God does. And then do it like children who learn proper behavior from their parents. Watch what God does in situations. No, leave it in verse 1. That's what I wanted. Watch what God does. And not translation, imitate your father God. This message I love, he said, he said, watch what God does and then do it like children who learn proper behavior from their parents. Do it like God will do it and see results. <laughs> I'm excited. Anywhere Jesus went, the Bible says in Acts 10, 98, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil. What does that mean? Anywhere Jesus went, he was doing good. Anywhere. The devil didn't stop him from doing good. He was never under any kind of pressure, under any kind of stress, anxiety no matter the challenge he was always at rest knowing that creation will answer to him he was always taking charge <laughs> he, know, he, he went to every place knowing that he's the game changer he's not looking for a game changer he's the game changer Until you understand that you have arrived, your struggle in life will continue. Until you understand that you are the one who brings the dimension of heaven here on earth. Listen, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Listen to what the Bible says. Even when we were dead in sins, that was who we were before we got saved. Then what did he do? He quickened us together. He made us alive with Christ. By grace are you saved. Verse 6. And has raised up, raised us up together. And made us do what? Sit together in heavenly places in Christ. Why did he raise us? We are saved. The Bible says when we receive Christ. He quickens us. He made, us. he made us alive. And then he raised us. Then he told us to sit down. You sit down when you have finished the work. You don't sit down when you are still working. So what does that mean? He's saying to you, operate your life. Live your Christian life here on earth from the point of rest. Not from the point of struggling. Not from a position of struggling. He made them to sit. So why do I sit? He made me to sit so that he can show me everything that is available to me in heaven. Show me the victory. Show me that when the devil, that's why I say you have arrived. Show me that when the devil comes to attack my body, in heaven there is no sickness. So I should not tolerate it because I am not sick. I am the healed he wants to make sick. He shows me that the streets of heaven are paved with gold. So money is not an issue in heaven. So I don't have money in my pocket that I should not join the world to say I don't have. No, I already have because the vast resources of heaven belong to me. And how do I access it? Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So I won't join the other people to say anything that contrary to what I saw in heaven. That it will be done on earth as it is in, in heaven. What you bind on earth is bound in heaven. So I won't join the world. When men shall say there is a casting down. I will say because in heaven is always a lifting. There is nothing like casting down. I have already arrived. I've seen it all. I've seen the result. I've seen the answer. So if the examiner is telling me that I did not make grade, I didn't make first class, it's already too late because the people that marked it have already shown me that I'm first class. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 
if the if the referee wants to make ojoro want to play games and deprive me of my success he has already told me that i always triumph i always win and so even if i am on the floor it does not change who i am he has already made me a winner by virtue of his death burial and resurrection i may be behind my back is on the wall but i'm still declaring i am a winner i am a winner and somehow the holy spirit will move in and change everything turn it around for my glory somebody shout hallelujah i say shout hallelujah It's, a, it's all about what he did. Not about what you do. It's all about what he did. He has done it. When he said it is finished, that's when our journey started. Our journey began from it is finished. I have arrived. 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 I'm not going to arrive. I have arrived. I have arrived. I have arrived. I am there already. I am there already. I see me. I see me. I see me on the throne. I see me. I see me in that car. I see me with my children. I see me with my husband. I see me with my wife. I see me with that building. I see me with that ministry. I see me with that success. Oh, with that career. I see me. I see me with that profession. I see me in that business. I see me sitting as the CEO. I see me there. I not I will see you. I see me there because Jesus put me there. <laughs> Stand to your feet. Next week we pick it up from there. Glory to God. Glory. I want you to just take two minutes and thank God for his promise to you. Thank him for his promise. Thank him for his promise. Thank him for the promise he made you. It's already done. Remember? It may be a promise to us, but it's a done deal in heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come on, open your mouth and thank him. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for victory. Thank you for elevation. Thank you. Thank you. Creation answers to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for victory over death, over tragedy, misfortune, over calamity, incidents and accidents. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for silencing satanic voice in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for total wholeness, total and complete wholeness for each and everyone. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that, that exams. Thank you, Lord, for that job. Thank you, Lord, for that ministry. We worship you. We worship you for turnaround, for acceleration, for increase, for speed. Thank you that the delay is lifted. The delay is lifted. No enchantment against us. No divination against us. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We exalt you. We magnify you. Thank you, Father. Sing that song again. You are my help. You are my grace. You are my mercy. Grace is you. Mercy.
Join me, let's lift your name. Join me, let's lift his name. Oh, higher, higher. Let's lift your name. I will lift his name. Higher. I will lift his name. Oh, I'll lift his name. We lift your 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 name. Lord, I lift your name. I lift your name. Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor this morning. We lift your name higher, we lift your name above all else. We place you in the highest place. We thank you because there is no like unto you. We adore you this morning, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Church, let us put those lovely hands together for Jesus. Let's worship the maker of all things. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to be lifting high praises this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready this morning to just bless the name of our God, to lift up high praises to him, to worship him in the beauty of his holiness? Amen. Hallelujah. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. No one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. No one like you. Lord, you are
Amor
Hallelujah. Every praise to our God and every word of worship one our core. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing every praise, every praise to our God and every word of worship with one our just want to bless you because you are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Holy are you Lord all creation call you God Word your name we worship your majesty awesome God how great thou art you are God Your holy name, Lord, we bow and worship you. Let's take it off from the beginning. you 
your majesty awesome God how great thou art you are God mighty are your miracles Your holy Lord, we bow and worship you. Yes, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship you. Lord, I bow, Lord, I bow and worship. Sing how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great. the name above all names. He is worthy of our praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. Great is our God. Oh, sing with me how great is our God. Let a whole world all oh, see how great, how great is our God. You're the name above all names, hallelujah. We worship you, hallelujah. Nobody compares to you, hallelujah. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Pastor D. Waters of my soul, longest out to be. You, oh Lord, at my heart, desire and I long to worship you. Has the Ever worship this moment. 
Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Hallelujah. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Oh, at the center, at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Sing at the center, at the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. For oh, there is power. There is power in your name. Miracle. Voice and praise. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. For there is power in your name. Oh, miracles, miracles happen in your name. I'll Voice as we lift our voice in praise. Sweet I see, sweet and I see. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. Jesus, we call you Jesus, Jesus. We call you Jesus, Jesus. Oh. See, we give you praise, we give you honor. Thank you for you alone are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we've worshipped. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Mighty God, we reverence you, we adore you, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace that knows no bound. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, God of all grace. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Be thou magnified forever and ever. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. In Jesus' wonderful name we worship. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Shout a better hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. It is my pleasure to welcome you today into the space of the redeemed evangelical mission, the place of our sanctuary, the place where God is doing big things in a big way. It is my prayer, my desire, and my conviction that God will do you good in the name of Jesus. Today, as we fellowship together, as we bask in his presence, the glory of God, the light of God will step into your space, will fill your space, fill your heart, fill your environment, fill your life, fill your situation with his awesomeness, with his power, his comfort, and his grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I welcome each and every one of us. And I want to encourage you to tighten your seatbelt and get ready for this super glorious flight in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Today, it is my pleasure and um, my, my joy <laughs> to uh, bring the word of God by the ministry of a servant of God that he has prepared for himself today. This is a woman of God that I respect so much for what God is doing in her life, but much more for her humility. Hallelujah. I know that God in his mercy and in his kindness has deposited something powerful in, your, uh, in her heart for your life and for your situation. Church, today, with a good God bless you. I want you to welcome with me the minister of God, Minister Lola Okoya. Put those lovely hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We bless God for what he's doing, even in our lives. We thank God for keeping us for sparing our lives to see another beautiful Sunday in this month of November. We we'll bless God, especially yesterday was my birthday. So I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to God. Hallelujah. Um, this morning, I'm going to be bringing the word of God to us. Hallelujah. Before I go further, uh, let's bow our heads in prayers this morning. Praise the Lord. Our Father and our God, we bless you. Thank you because you are a good God. You do not fail. You do not disappoint. Father, as your people will listen to the word that you have for them this morning, I pray that you will make my tongue like that of a ready writer. You will use me to speak your mind this morning. As many as are tuned in, watching from all over, all over the world, nations, everywhere. I ask, oh Lord God, that you will open their hearts to receive your word this morning. And if, even as they receive your word, it will do them good. In the name of Jesus, we pray for knowledge this morning and understanding, special anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want to welcome everybody once again. Praise the Lord. And this morning, I am going to be talking to us very briefly, but I trust God and I bless God that even in the, you know, few minutes, you know, the little time that I have to speak to us this morning, I trust God that God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your power. Hallelujah. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be talking to us about releasing the lion in every believer's life. Praise the Lord releasing the lion in every believer's life praise the lord 
I believe that um, God has been good to all of us, even in this year, 2020, we've gone through a lot of trials, tribulations, I mean, the coronavirus pandemic, and so many other things. But I bless God because his word says he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Releasing the lion in every believer's life. If you turn with me quickly to Genesis 26, uh, Genesis verse 1. Hallelujah. Um, Genesis 1, 26 to 28. I'll just read to us quickly to establish um, what God has said concerning each and every one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, Genesis 1, verse 26 to 28. It says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over, to, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Praise the Lord. So in the beginning, God has given man, God has given you, every believer, God has given you, you know, the power of, of dominion. And, you know, when you've been given something, you've been given a power, it's time to begin to manifest. As it says, God has given us dominion over everything, over the whole earth, the birds, animals, the sea, you know, over, over everything, over man. And he's telling us it is time for you and I to arise and take dominion, you know, to take dominion through the power that he's given us. Praise the Lord. We're not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. And that's why God says, even in the day, you know, from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent taketh it by force. Matthew eleven twelve. So when God created all these things in the beginning, he already knew, he knew, you know, he, 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 he already knew that there's going to be trials, there's going to be tribulations, there's, there's, there, there's going to be pandemic, there's, you know, there's going to be natural disaster, there's going to be all these things, like it's been said in the Bible anyway. And that's why he said, come on to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, come to me, come to me, you know, ha um, trust me, trust me trust me and that's why he has given us power 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 of dominion and it's time for us to begin to exercise that power to release the lion in us now you know when we say releasing the lion what's a, a lion is a very fierce animal praise the lord if 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 you see a you know a lion come towards you, you're not going to stand there and begin to you know pet the lion. The 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 minute you see a lion in front of you, you you know you run. In fact, you will run. You will run as fast as you can to get away from that situation. But what God is telling us is that. You do not have to fear. I've given you the power. It's time for you to roar like a lion. If you turn with me to Proverbs um, 30, hallelujah. The scripture, Proverbs 30. Praise the Lord. Proverb, Proverbs 30, verse 30. 
and um, I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. The lion which is mighty among beasts and does not turn back before any. A lion is mighty amongst beasts and does not turn back before any. Praise the Lord. God is telling you, he's, he's, he's telling you that, you know, you're like that lion. A lion is a first animal. He is mighty, mighty amongst all animals. A mighty beast and does not turn back before any. No way. Rather, it will confront whatever is in front of him. And that's what God wants you to be this morning. He wants you to be that lion. Because, you know, we, we, when you gave your life to Christ, when you committed your life and everything onto Jesus Christ, you've been welcomed into that, you know, the, 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 the family of the lion of the tribe of Judah. And because sin not even i mean jesus died for us a sinless man he came and he died for us he took away all our he, our sins our diseases all our unrighteousness he took it upon himself he died for us on the cross when he said it is finished all of these things, your sin has been forgotten. And so therefore, you are a family of God. Like, you know, the tribe of, uh, of Judah, lion of the tribe of Judah. And there's nowhere in the Bible that we read that, Je Je you know, when Jesus was confronted with challenges, when he was confronted with, with situations that he, he, he ran away from it, no. He confronted it. He spoke a word. He, you, you know, he, he, he spoke a word. And whatever the situation was, would obey the word of God, will conform to that word of God. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the all-knowing, the powerful. He has, he has power over everything. And that same power he has given unto you and I when he said, I have given you the power to have dominion over everything. And now you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. So whatever Jesus did, you are able to do it. Praise the Lord. I don't know if you heard me right. Whatever it is that Jesus did, all the miracles that he did in the Bible, because you are now the lion of the tribe of Judah, you have the power, you can do, you can do all the miracles, you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Praise the Lord. If we also look at um, um, Proverbs 28, verse 1, I, I just want to further buttress the fact that, you know, um, 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 it, it's it's time for us to to release that lion in us to roar roar at situations roar. It's time. It's it, it's time to begin to 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 you know face things and say, Jesus did it. If Jesus did it, I can do it. Praise the Lord. Proverb um, Proverbs twenty eight verse one. It says the wicked flee when no one pursues pursues but the righteous are bold as a lion praise the lord the righteous are bold as a lion as a believer as a child of god you have been given the power the boldness to stand to stand, to stand, and not, you know, be shaken, be moved by anything. Praise the Lord. I'm going to um, give some examples this morning of, you know, some mighty men, some lion-like figure in the Bible that Jesus um, told us about. 
You know, Jesus Christ is the lion of lions, praise the Lord, like I said. And that you are the seed of Abraham through faith in Christ. And by implication, you belong to the tribe of Judah. Because we are the seed of Abraham. We belong, we belong, you know, we belong to the tribe of Judah by faith. By faith. So as a believer, as one who has come to God and who trusts, who trusts God, who has faith, who has faith, there is nothing you cannot do. Hallelujah. And from, you know, because we belong to the tribe of Judah and from which Jesus sprang up because Jesus is the offspring of David and at the same time, the root of Jesse. I'm saying all of this so we can understand when I say that as a child of God, you are able, you, as a child, you are able to do what your father, Jesus Christ, has, has completed. Because everything we read in the Bible, you know, is finished. It's, it's the finished work of God. So as a believer, as a family of God, the tribe of Judah, you are able to do all these things by faith. Praise the Lord. By faith. By faith. Hallelujah. If um, we look at Revelation 22. Praise the Lord. We look at Revelations um, 22. Hallelujah. Revelations 22. Revelation 22, verse 16. It says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the church. So this thing, you know, we already know. We already know whose we are, who we belong to. Praise the Lord. And as a child of God, as a chosen one, as a child of God, you have power, you have dominion, you have power to cast out demons, to, 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 to cast out, you know, to speak to that disease and infirmity, to say, to, to tell it to leave your body. Praise the Lord. Um, Jesus talked about some lion-like men in the Bible, people like uh, the prophet Moses, he talked about Peter. He talked about the three Hebrew boys. And even Jesus himself, praise the Lord. But this morning, I will just, you know, I'll, we'll look at um, the story of Moses and how he was able to release the lion, you know, in him. How he was able to take authority, to use the power that Jesus has given unto him. Number one, in 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 order to release the lion in every believer, there must be righteousness of obedience. Praise the Lord. Righteousness of obedience. A lot of times we get ourselves into situations because we have not obeyed. We have not obeyed. Praise the Lord. In um, Exodus... 10 we all know the the, um, the 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 story of moses how god used moses to deliver the israelites from the hands of the egyptians how you know jesus used him to 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 take the israelites out of egypt out of slavery praise the lord and there was no way moses would have been able to do this if he wasn't obedient, he wasn't obedient to the word of God, to the instructions given to God. So, son of God, this morning, in order for you to release the lion in you, you must be obedient to the word of God. 
you must be obedient to the instructions that God is giving us. And these instructions through the, you know, the word of God in the Bible, through visions, revelations, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Exodus 10, verse 28 to 29. You know, the Israelites were in Egypt for so many, for, uh, you know, uh, uh, so many years, and they were under immense torture, hard labor. Praise the Lord. And Mo, um, Jesus used Moses to deliver them. We know about the the, the uh, Pharaoh in 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 Egypt. He he you know he 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 was a very very hard wicked wicked king, and he wouldn't let the Egyptian um, the Israelites leave because you know they were the ones doing all this the the this, the work the the you know. In, in in Egypt, all the the famine and all the hard labor, and you know, in Egypt, praise the Lord. In this scripture, it says, Exodus ten twenty eight. Um. Okay. It says, then Pharaoh said to him. Um, I'll, I'll just I'll just um, back up a little bit. Twenty seven. But the Lord had in Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. Then Pharaoh said to him, "Get away from me! Take heed to yourself, and see my face no more. For in the day you see my face, you shall die." So Mo verse twenty nine. So Moses said, "You have spoken well. I will never see your face." So like I said, Mo Jesus used Moses to deliver the, the Israelites. He had sent a lot of messages to Pharaoh who refused to heed to the voice of God. Rather than let them go, he even, you know, he, he multiplied the labor <laughs> over the, 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 the Israelites. So this, this time, which was God's purpose anyways, you know, this time, Moses had gone to Pharaoh after, you know, so many plagues and all of that. I went to Pharaoh, um, Pharaoh and told him that God says, let my people go. Let my people go. Let my people go so that they can go and serve me. But instead, he, you know, Pharaoh, Pharaoh had in his heart and he would not let them go. Praise the Lord. So finally, the last, after so many plagues, the last thing was you know, the killing of the firstborn, firstborn of even the king of animals, praise the Lord. And that's, they, all this happened, all these things happened because Moses was a man under the authority of Jesus. He was obedient to the word of God. He was obedient to God. He never did anything, you know, outside of the instructions from God. So child of God this morning, we should, you know, learn something from this. In order for you to be able to command, to decree, the Lord that you will decree a thing and it will be established. In order for you to be able to decree, to command, to have power, to have dominion over everything, over situations, obedience, obedience is the first thing according to what Moses did in this story, praise the Lord, he was obedient to the command of God. You know, the first, the, the first plague, God instructed him to the second, to the third, up until the, to the 10, where the, 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 the first bonds of the Egyptians, you know, was killed. God instructed him every time he will go back, he will withdraw, he will go onto the mountain, he will seek the face of God. It's time as believers to begin to seek the face of God for everything, in every situation, every step of the way. Praise the Lord. Also, another, uh, you know, 
the other lion-like men in the Bible, the three Hebrew boys, praise the Lord. Uh, that scripture, you know, in, in, in the book of Daniel, praise the Lord, in the, the, whole, the book of Daniel, we'll look at verse 3, uh, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3, praise the Lord. So the three Hebrew boys, um, let's look at it quickly before I begin to draw this to a close. Praise the Lord. So also, these boys knew who they were serving. They had, they had faith in God. They knew who, who's they were, whom they were, and who they were serving. Praise the Lord. And so even when the, 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 the king, Nebuchadnezzar, had ordered for everybody in Babylon to bow down to the to to, to you know to, to to the idol he had made. Praise the Lord. To the idol he had made, these three Hebrew boys would not obey his instructions. Why? Because they knew who they were serving. They knew the God they were serving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In uh, Daniel 3, verses uh, 1, Daniel 3, 1 to 3, says, Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, which I've said, whose height was 60 cubits and his width 6 cubits. He set it up in, a, in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. And King Nebuchadnezzar sent word to gather together the satraps, the administrators, the governors, council. He, he gathered everybody and so on. Praise the Lord. And, you know, everybody was meant to come and bow down before this idol. But these three Hebrew boys wouldn't. And this is what. This, 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 this was the punishment for whoever didn't obey. And it says in verse 6, it says, And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fairy furnace. So anybody who didn't obey these instructions will be cast into the midst of a burning fairy furnace. But guess what? Because this boys, you know, had that lion in them. They were not scared. They were bold enough to say, we know the God we're serving and we know he will save us. And if he doesn't save us well, so be it. But we will never bow to your God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's great faith obedience to the word of God because they know the, the you know the word of God praise the Lord and it so happened that they were thrown they didn't they were thrown into this fire and guess what nothing happened to them nothing happened to them and that is our situation as a child of God let that lion in you come let it roar against you know the the situations let it roar in, in, in your place of work if 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 they've asked you if they've said to you you know you can't be promoted only if you you do certain things only if you do things that are contrary to the will of god you are bold enough because you know the god in whom you are serving to say no i will never do this because i know the god that i am serving he is almighty he's all doing he's jehovah he's emmanuel I know the God, he never fails. And that's the faith that these boys had and nothing happened to them. Rather, instead of them getting burned, it was even the people, the armies that had thrown them into this fire that even got burnt. And what happened? Nebuchadnezzar came to bow, came to bow to the God, Jesus, that these boys are serving, praise the Lord. Whose are you this morning? Are you, do, you know, do you have that lion-like behavior, belief in God? 
Praise the Lord. Are you trusting in the word of God? Hallelujah. Are you obedient to the word of God? Let's look at, Je let's look at Jesus this morning. You know? Praise the Lord. The Bible says we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Um, in um, Let's see uh, quickly. I'll be rounding up quickly. If we look at uh, Acts, Acts um, 4, 11, the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 11, it says, uh, from 10, let's 10, let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you all. This is the stone which was rejected by your builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Releasing the lion in every believer, as a child of God, it says it here. The name of Jesus will always answer for you. Praise the Lord. No matter where you've been rejected, no matter what has been said against you, as a child of God, as a lion of the tribe of Judah, all you need to hold on to is the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus that heals, you know, that, the, the cripple, um, um, opens the eyes of the blind. That name is still alive today. All we'll have to do is to release, release that lion in us by holding on, calling the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus saves. The name of Jesus destroys. The name of Jesus sets captive, the captivity, you know, free. Praise the Lord. And there's a lion in every believer. There's a king in you. Praise the Lord. A dominant force in you. There's a lion in every, there's a king in you. A dominant force in you, which is, the, is Jesus. It's the name of Jesus. It was, not, it was not just by chance that you gave your life to Christ. Praise the Lord. God, he chose you. He set you apart. Praise the Lord. And that's why we need to come out. Even in, in, in this time, we need to be bold. We need to be bold. As a believer, you need not compromise. This is not a time to compromise your faith, your religion, your, your, your faith in Christ, your belief in God. Praise the Lord. If the lion in you has gone to sleep, you are not reading the word of God. You are not reading your Bible. You are not praying. This is a time. To, 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 you know, the, 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 the word of God, there's going to be an awakening. There's an awakening. All those who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. There's an awakening at this time. This is a time to arise, to shine, to confront the enemy, to roar at the enemy and say, if God be for me, who can be against me? There's no condemnation in me. I will not bow down. I will not bow down to the things of the world. I will not keep my mouth shut. This is a time to blow your trumpet, to say Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the Lord. Whatever situation you're going through, speak to that cancer. Speak to that cancer. So God, Jesus Christ died for me. He, he, he took care of it. He took care of my infirmity. He took care of my diseases. And by his stripes, you are healed. Look at that situation in your workplace, in your family, in your marriage. Look at that hopeless situation and, and, and confront it. 
with the lion in you, with the boldness, with the power that Jesus has given you, with the authority. He says, I've given you authority to trample upon serpent, scorpion. By no means will anything hurt you, but you must obey. You must be obedient. You must be righteous in Jesus. You must declare the word of God. You must know the word of God. There is no way. There is no way you will, you, you know, you will, there's no way you can be bold in Christ if you do not even know what the word of God is saying concerning your situation. A lot of us compromise because of fear. Fear of the unknown. What will tomorrow bring? What will happen if I don't do this? Youth. Children, you know, if I if I if I if I if I don't join these people, they they they'll look at me like I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I'm not one of them. You are not one of them. You are not of this world. You belong to Jesus. Praise the Lord. This morning. I, 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 you know, I just want us to come before the Lord, to stand secure, to stand bold, be steadfast in faith that there is nothing Jesus cannot do. He just wants you, he wants you to come boldly before him. He wants you to begin to roar, exercise your faith, to proclaim, to declare, to declare, just like the Hebrew boy said, so be it, whatever happens will happen, but we know that the God we serve is a mighty God. Just like Moses, the God I serve is a mighty God. The God that I that 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 I serve the God that I believe in. He's able to do. He's mighty, mighty in battle. Praise the Lord. The Lion of God in my life, come alive in the name of Jesus. This morning, that's what I want us to hold on to. Let's hold on to the Word of Jesus. Praise the Lord to the Word of God, to the Word of God. To the word of God that says we have the we have dominion over all things. You have authority, you have power. Nothing can scare you. No pandemic, no, no coronavirus, because we have the blood of Jesus flowing in us. Hallelujah. We have the blood of Jesus flowing in us. We have the word of God in us. The word of God is life. The word of God is power. Praise the Lord. As I round up this morning, I don't know what you're going through. I just want to encourage you and assure you that because you are a child of God, you are a believer. You are a believer. There is no fear for you. This is the time to come out. This is the time to allow, to allow, to allow God in your life. This is a time to say, I release the lion in me. Go, go and conquer, conquer territories. Go, sound your trumpet. Go, go and win souls for God. Bring people into the Christian dom. Bring people the great commission. Why? Because you've been given power. You've been given authority. You have dominion. You have strength. You roar like a lion. The lion is the biggest beast. Is a is a is a mighty beast, the, you know, a strong animal. You are the tribe of the lion of Judah, and so therefore, whatever Jesus did, whatever Jesus did, everything that is written in the Bible, you are able to do it. You are able to do it. You are able to do it through Christ, who strengthens you, through the consciousness of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord through the consciousness of the Holy Spirit. And finally, for every step you take, every decision, everything that you, you do, no matter small, no matter how small it is, you must always ask 
the Holy Spirit to guide you, the Holy Spirit to help you. That's the, you know, that that's exercising the power of God in you, the lion in you. You must always ask, you must always ask, you must always ask, you must always ask for the Holy Spirit, power of the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit to guide you, for the Holy Spirit to help you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I hope this morning, you know, God has ministered to somebody. Praise the Lord that it's time to arise. It's, tra- it's time to, to, to not, to, it's time for you not to keep short. Do not be silent. Roar like a lion. Go out there. Confront your fears. Confront this challenge. The, you know, the challenges you're going through. Confront the situation. Confront it and say, I am the tribe of the lion of Judah. Nothing, nothing can hurt me. Nothing can hurt me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, even for your word that has come this morning. We bless your name. We hope, we pray, oh Lord God, that from now on, we release that power. We release the power, the power that you've given unto us. And that through us, lives will be saved. Lives will be changed. Sickness healed. People delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you all the praise for there is no one like unto you. Hallelujah. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus wherever we are this morning. Just jam those lovely hands together for Jesus. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Glory be to God. You know, very, 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 very insightful. In Matthew 10, 16, when Jesus Christ said, Behold, I send you forth as sheep amongst wolves. He says, Be ye therefore wise as the serpent and gentle as the dove. Now, in making that statement, Jesus Christ, uh, 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 he put forward one of the most difficult riddles that believers may struggle with because he did not, uh, he did not unfold that riddle. He gave it to them as the most potent, the most useful advice for their Christian work. Because number one, he says, I send you as sheep amongst wolves. But he says, even though you are a sheep, you now need to be as wise as a serpent and you need to be as gentle as a dove. That is three different, distinct, contradicting nature that looks as though we are not able to manage but you see, there was something that is so key about this message today that you have to release the lion. There is a nature in you that you have to release. You have to allow the gateway of your nature, your natural nature, yourself, your humanity. You have to allow that gate of humanity, your philosophy, your ideology, your learning, your experience. You have to allow that gate to be broken and open. So that the glory of God can come in. The Bible says in Psalms 24, it says, Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors. That the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord that is mighty in battle. The Lord God Almighty, the Jehovah Elohim. You have to lift up the gates of your life. The gate of your experience. The gate of your uh Pain, the gates of your shame. You have to lift up all these gates so that the real person, the real identity of God in you can be revealed. Glory be to God. Now, let me quickly do something. I'm not preaching again. I, I was just so inspired by that message. But I want to add one or two things for you. If you go to Ezekiel chapter 1, and we will read very quickly because I need to tease, I need to tie this up together for you so that we unravel that 
that advice that Jesus Christ has given us that we need. Amen. And I'll tell you something later. Glory be to God. Praise Jesus. So, if you go to Ezekiel chapter 1, quickly, and we look at verses, uh, let's take it from verse 4. We'll, I'll do a very quick read. Ezekiel chapter 1. I'll do a very quick read. I'll take it from verse 4. And I just want to, so that it makes sense. And I'll tell you something. It says, and as I look and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north. And a great cloud with a fire enveloping it and flashing continually. A brightness was about it. Let's jump. Let's jump. Let's jump. Okay, five. It says, and out of the midst of it came the likeness of four living creatures. Are you following me? And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. So they had the form of a man. However, each one of them, these four beasts, each one of them had four wings. And their legs were straight legs. And the source of their feet was like the cart of a calf. Da, 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 da. Let's jump again. Let's go to the 10th verse. Let's go to verse 10. It says, and as for the likeness of their faces. This is where I want you to tease things out. Now, your face is your, your place of contact. That is where you connect. That is where you interface. You integrate. You, 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 you form alliance. That, that is what... People see. That's what they can describe about you. Your face. That is what, what you present. Your representation. Your face. Verse 10. It says, As for the likeness of their faces, they each had the face of a man in front. And each had the face of a lion to the right side. And the face of an ox to the left side. Then four also had the face of an eagle at the back of their heads. Praise the Lord. Now, what is this creature trying to make us to understand? When Jesus was saying, okay, if, in fact, before I go there, let's go to Revelation chapter 5 so that I tie it all up together before I begin to make my statement. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 5. Let's read from verse 4 so that we can just tidy it up. I just need to connect all of this together for you. He says, okay, um, and no man in heaven nor earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said to me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, hath prevailed to open the book, and to lose the seven seals thereof. Verse 6, it says, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain. So, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. The Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. So, he's a sheep. Just as you are a sheep. So, when he was talking to us about our nature, our human nature, our, our present existence, that thing that God created us in, you are a sheep. You are a disciple. You are a Christian. You are a sheep. However, that sheep has another nature that is hidden, a spiritual identity. And that is what this is all about today. There is a spiritual identity in you that you have to let loose. He said those four creatures, those cherubims, he says they had the face of a man and they had the face of an eagle. They had the face of an ox and the face of a lion. How are you following me? Because they are taking all one and from another from the nature of God. And the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, of whom we are joined our heirs together. Oh, glory be to God. He is a lion of the tribe of Judah. And I know he's got an eagle inside of him. And so, when he was talking about you now becoming wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, he said to you that there is another nature in you, a spiritual identity, a creation that is inside of you. That the devil has not seen the like of it. That the devil is not able to gain an upper hand over. There is a nature inside of you that you must allow to find expression. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 therefore says to us. That if any man therefore be in Christ. He is a new creature. So when you go into the midst of wolves. You have the liberty. Listen to me. Jesus did not finish this statement. I can help you to, to extend the statement and then you can finish it yourself when you meet God. Hallelujah. 
When Jesus said, when you go, I send you forth as sheep amongst wolves. He says, now, bear in mind, there is a wisdom in you. You, need, you have a nature that is a wise nature, a cautious nature. A nature that is aware and, and, and can um, rightly interpret its environment. A nature that can interpret what is going on around it. He says, you have that nature. Let it find expression. He says, you have the nature of a dove inside of you. Let it find expression. Now, listen to me. If I am walking in the midst of, wolf, uh, in the midst of wolves, what nature do you think I will, I will demonstrate? What nature do you think I will demonstrate? I will demonstrate the, the nature of a lion. Because when the lion steps into the midst of wolves, what will they do? They will scatter. That is where your wisdom comes. So when you know you have gotten to the territory where the wolves are looking for you to eat you up, roar like a lion. There is a nature inside of you. There is something inside of you that you can release. There is a nature that the Holy Spirit will tease out. When the tribulations and the challenges of life come upon you. Are you following me, child of God? Wherever you are, I join my voice to the voice of God to you. Let the lion in you find expression. Let the lion in you roar. Let the glory of God in you find expression. Do you understand me? Lift up that gate. Don't, don't, don't impose upon yourself the limitation of humanity. Are you following me? Your human nature is your only nature that God needed for you to interface with a physical world. That's all. He needed you to have a physical form in order to be able to interface, interact, engage, be legally acceptable in this physical world. But you have a nature that this physical world has to lift in order to express. So I charge you by the authority of heaven. Let the lion in you roar. Let the nature of God in you roar. Let the power of God in you find expression. Let the glory of God in you find expression. Let the humility, the graciousness, the kindness, the compassion, the dexterity, the ingenuity, let the vastness, the diversity, the, 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 the depth of God, let it find expression in you. There is a nature of, of, of greatness. There is a nature of God in you. May it find expression. Your lion will roar. Your lion will not be silent in the mighty name of Jesus. In the midst of adversaries and in the midst of enemies, you will become the king of the park. Hallelujah. You will become the king of the park and the glory of God shall be seen upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shout hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We honor you. We adore you. Thank you, O oh God. Let's just begin to pray for the minister of God, the servant of God that he has used to bless us this morning to bring the world. Just begin to declare that God will enrich her, will refill her. We pray for your daughter, O oh God. We ask that you will refill her, refresh her. My God, Lord, Re, re, renew our strength. Reposition her, O oh God. Lord, align her in your will and in your counsel and let your name be glorified. Let fresh oil, insight, O oh God, dexterity of mind and spirit, come and rest upon her to your glory alone. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Shout hallelujah. Shout a bigger hallelujah. Shout a glorious hallelujah. Amen and amen. Glory be to Jesus. Is it okay for us to take an offering in our service today? Hallelujah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take an offering. Amen. Listen to me. Don't come to church without giving an offering. Are you following me? The church of God is in your house. Don't be like the sons of the priest who had the ark of God in his house for 20 years and he did not bless them. When the ark of God is in your house, treat it with respect. Treat it with the honor. It says, unto the name of God. Give unto God, give unto his name the glory that is due unto him. Hallelujah. And that is the way we must approach him today. Our, our offerings are our worship. They are a form of worship for us. And we are going to bring that form of worship at this point in time in our service today to the Lord God Almighty. If you are watching us on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, you can give your offering by visiting our website www.tremfulam.org.uk 
and you'll be able to use the donation uh, tab at the top of the page to be able to give your offering. If you're already watching from our website, if you click that donation button, that donate button below your screen, you'll be able to give your offering in this way. Likewise, if you are watching from our church app, if you click that button to the top left corner of your screen, you will take you to the page where you are able to give your offering. And if it is possible for you to give your offering via our bank, uh, um, these details on the screen are the details for our bank to enable you to give your offering in this way. Hallelujah. I'm just going to pray now and then we bless the name of the Lord God Almighty. Father, we thank you for our offerings that we bring before you, we ask that you will bless it, receive it. Lord, give us the privilege to live our life in your praise and in your worship. Even as we bring this substance to your feet, Lord, we sanctify it by your name and for your authority. And we ask, oh God, that you will demonstrate your power and your glory through this given. You will change lives, change communities, change destinies. Bring people to the light of salvation, even by the gospel that we preach. And let your name be glorified. Let the blessings of the sower come upon us all. And let the harvest be bountiful. Bless those that do not have the opportunity and who do not have the means today. Lord, enlarge their, bo their borders. Take away their financial restraint and bring glory and power to them. Blessed be the name of the living God. We worship and adore you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, let me welcome the choir as we take our offering. Hallelujah. We have come to give back to you. We have come, we have come to say thank you, Lord. Oh, we have come, we have come to give back to you. Oh, we have come, we have come. Thank you, Lord. Say, I am come. I am come to give back to you for all the things you have done. I am come. I am come to say thank you, Lord. Say, I am. I am come. I am come to give back to you, Lord, for all you've done. I am come to say thank you. Judge, hallelujah. Sitting with us for the first time. 
If this is your first time of joining us on a Sunday service, we welcome you and thank you for joining us from any of the platforms, be it Facebook or any other media through which you have joined to worship with us today. TREM stands for the Redeemed Evangelical Mission. The branch you have joined today is the place of our sanctuary. We are located in 84 Lily Road, Fulham in London, United Kingdom. We want to welcome you. This is a place we gather to worship and praise the true and living God, equipped with the word of God for growth and fellowship in covenant relationship with one another and released in our world to make a formidable impact for the kingdom. Trem is big enough to contain you and small enough to reach you wherever you are. We do not look at the bigness of our problem, but we look at the bigness of our God. So if you are looking for a loving family church, where you will express all you have to serve God, we welcome you. Please come and join us. We also gather on Wednesdays, 7 to 9 p.m. to worship God. You join us online. Just go to tremfulam.org.uk, tremfulam.org.uk. You will join our platform and worship God. You can also reach us on Facebook and on Twitter. And on Saturdays, we also have a service in Spanish with interpretation in English. So if you are able to join us between 5 and 7 p.m. during the Spanish church, please come and worship with us. We also reach out to our community where we do a program we call um, giving out food. You know, with the pandemic, this is something we've been giving, um, been doing before even the pandemic. We gather in the church, have a meal, support each other, reach out to the community, but now it's giveaway. So you can join us one o'clock to three o'clock on Saturdays. These are some of the programs, one way to reach out. And if you come, you will see some other programs that will interest you to serve God in the way you will be very happy. I'm very sure. You will be also, we want to recognize those who are celebrating today. It's your wedding anniversary, your birthday, whatever is of interest to you that you want to praise God. We join and say, thank you, Lord. We give a clap. We thank God for all that he's doing in your life. You have to cheer up and continue to thank God and glorify his name, who has given you life to celebrate. And if you have a testimony, you are the one that wants to share and thank God for he has everything. You have reached out to him in faith and you have received from the throne of grace. Do not be shy because our testimony has a way of lifting up one another. Do not be shy to share your testimony with us. We will reach you again. Please contact us at strengthfulham.org.uk and if you live around Fulham or you're in London, please get to us at 84 Lily Road, Fulham, UK, SW1, SW61TF, SW612F. Try to reach us. Thank you. You are welcome. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your holy name and we thank you. We are grateful to you for all that you've done in righteousness. And we bless your holy name because you are good in all your ways. Thank you. It has been a wonderful service. Has it not been? <laughs> it has been a wonderful service. One of the things that you would have noticed in this service today is that we have um, taken the opportunity of technology to... Um, amplify and embellish the scope of our service and like I've said to us in-house um, our church uh, is not one of the churches 
for whom the virtual space is just a bridge over troubled waters. This is our normal environment because we have people by the grace of God who are spread across uh, various locations. You know, so we are widely dispersed and we are churches in small groups, in small homes, and we are connected together by the Spirit of God and by the work that we do. And so we continue to uh, enhance what we do by the use of the technology that God has made the opportunity available and because of the need of the moment that has put the necessity upon us. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. And so I want to thank God for all my officers. I thank God for the minister of the word today. I thank God for every one of you as well for your participation, your involvement with the work that we are doing. And I want to challenge you that it is a work that involves all of us. There is a lion in you. There is a deposit of God in you that must find expression. That is your first responsibility, to find, rest, to find expression in this life. Don't live life limited by anything. I have been timid, and I am still a meek person. I am still a, a, a timid person. You won't believe me when I tell you that I am a timid person. You will not. You will not. But I look back over my life and I know that I'm a timid person. But you see, the God Almighty has given me the opportunity to find expression. And that is the same desire I find for you. The same desire I pray for you. The same desire I express over your life. That you will find expression. A lot of people are living a life under pressure because they have not found expression. I speak by the mandate of heaven. Any pressure operating over your life, any hand repressing the glory of God in your life, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the veil be taken away and let the glory and the majesty of God be revealed in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank God uh, for his mercies and his goodness. And um, I look forward to see you on Wednesday and on Sunday. And I pray for you that God will keep you, enhance you, and uh, it will enlarge your borders. I am trusting God that the lockdown will be over. So keep joining me in that prayer. I'm trusting God that the lockdown will be over. And we will be moving back by faith into our premises. Glory be to Jesus. We are going to take, we are going to take the, we are going to turn the tide. Hallelujah. We are going to turn the tide. I'm trusting God. You know, we have our Thanksgiving that is going to come. And I'm planning that for the Sunday immediately after the lockdown. We will come and thank God. We are going to break this banner. We are going to break this banner and this cloud of gloom over our country, over our uh, 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 over the Church of God Universal. We are going to break it. We are going to break it by praise. We are going to break it by allowing the lion in us to find expression. We will not just plan ourselves to the limitation of COVID. No, we will take the bull by the horn. So I am challenging you wherever you are as you listen to me. Begin to challenge the environment, begin to challenge the circumstance, begin to challenge the restrictions of this COVID. Not because we are challenging the government. No, don't, don't get me wrong. But we are challenging the elements that has placed this imposition upon us. It's a power that is working against the gospel. Because we must praise God. Hear me? I have desired and I'm trusting God. We must do our annual, annual thanksgiving when we will come together and celebrate and dance in the presence of God. And I'm planning that for the uh, Sunday immediately after the lockdown. Are you following when the lo lockdown is lifted? And Christmas is coming. We must celebrate Christmas in a way that will glorify God. And you know what? We are going to cross over into a new year. We are going to cross over to a new year in about 40 days. Are you with me? And that must, that must be completely done in the presence of God, in the fellowship of faith with one another. I am trusting God that many of you are out there believing God with me in this level of faith. Are you following me? Just do your hand like this to the screen. Even if it's your phone, just do your hand. You know, just shake your hand at your screen. You believe with me. Hallelujah. Hey, our praise is coming forth. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's, 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 let's bring it to a close. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. 
We worship and adore you. I commend your children into your hands. That as we go today, Lord, your grace will go with us. Your presence will grow with us. My God, my God, your mercy will fill our hearts and our lives with testimony of grace and glory in Jesus' name. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your light. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for transformation. Thank you for turnaround. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the enlargement of borders. We bless your holy name. Be glorified forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Let all the saints shout a big amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begging your pardon. Amen. All right, let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall abide with us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the hands of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you and command His face to shine upon you. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Shalom.